What do I think makes a good chef? I'd have to say passion. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about food. I happen to be passionate about cooking. Put those two together and in the kitchen, I just make a pig of myself. You can join me sometime. What type of person do you think makes a good CEO? A good CEO has to have, has to be somebody that has the ability to communicate, mm -hmm. a good understanding of business, a good understanding of operations, uh, a good understanding of finances. So there's a lot of little different components that combined all together will make the great CEO. My family is usually busy with my health and education. On a busy day, how long does it take for you to prepare and make, make and cook dinner? There is times when I just really want to throw something in a microwave, take seven minutes and then eat that and then go to bed. But there's no satisfaction there, remember that. What was your favourite thing to eat as an 11 year old child? And what was the craziest thing you ever ate as a child? As an 11 year old child, I have to go back to where my grandmother was making that home homemade pasta. Nothing mm. beats that. And the craziest thing that I've eaten, I think, coming from a Greek background, we're really big on having a lamb on the spit. Mm. So just before Easter, we had a pet lamb and um, that lamb actually landed on our spit. So that was probably the craziest thing that I've ever eaten. Sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. If you were in, in hospital, what would you do to have fun? Um, the best thing to do in hospital is just relax. Just relax? No stress. Take it easy, no stress. I'm all for that. What do you think a CEO, a chef, and a personal assistant versus all chef? Hmm. What's the common thread? Yeah. I think food. For exercise, I um, have a treadmill I run on every day. I sometimes run around uh, just the shop with my mum. We have a gym, so usually I work out. What do you do to stay fit, fit, fit and exercise? Oh my goodness, now I've been really put on the spot. I'm just blessed with a natural great body that looks like Adonis. No, I'm kidding. Um, all I do is walk. I walk six kilometers every day. That's, that's the only form of exercise that I do. Every now and then I've got three grandchildren, so I might go to the park and play with them. But walking six kilometers is standard routine for me almost every day. What is the one lesson you, from, that you have gained from running this business that I could use in my cystic fibrosis journey? Ooh, that's a tough one, but just off the top of my head, I would probably have to say patience. Patience? Patience. Patience and the ability, patience gives you the ability to think carefully about your next move. So I think it would be patience. What do you think you're going to cook, be cooking for the Cystic Fibrosis CEO Kitchen event? Well, I think that because it's open slather and I don't really need to watch calories, kilojoules and all that sort of high fat content, I think it's going to be something like a sometime food. Mm. So I'll just keep it at that, yeah?